How are we fucking doing? I'm sure. Wicked. Uh, I'm going to start with an impression. Uh, the impression is Donald Trump. Any fans in? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> the rest of you, correct. Um, I don't really have a political point to make with this. Uh, I'm not a fan. If anything, I think he's a bit of a silly twat. I just thought it'd be fun to hear him do the last monologue from Blade Runner. <laughs> okay, let me tell you folks, I've seen things you people wouldn't believe, okay, I've seen the best things, I have amazing vision, I've seen attack ships on fire at the shoulder of Orion, Orion's a great guy, okay, he's got amazing shoulders, we don't make an attack ships anymore, it's true, we don't, they're all made in China. <laughs> I've seen sea beams glisten at the Tannhauser gate. It's a great gate, okay, it's a fantastic gate. You're gonna be so proud of your gate, you're gonna love your gate. We're gonna build the gate and Harrison Ford is gonna pay for it, okay? <laughs> All these things, folks, I gotta tell you, all these things will fade in time. They're gonna fade. <laughs> like tears oh. in rain. No. No. Time just died. to die. Sad. <laughs> Um, Alright, lads, what the fuck am I wearing? <laughs> I, uh, no, I know that. Fantastic. Um, I, this is uh, what everyone who reads the Daily Mail thinks that everyone who's going to vote Labour next time looks like. Uh, this is what uh, everyone in Wolverhampton thinks you all look like. <laughs> This is what you look like, sir, when no one else is in the house. <laughs> Please stop sending me those photos. Um, the, the, the reason I'm dressed like this is uh, I don't really know the politically correct term for it anymore. Um, so I've taken to identifying as the source of my mother's worries. Um, um, yeah, uh, so what it is, is uh, uh, I'm a bloke, uh, quite happy identifying as a bloke, uh, I'm also straight, that's a fucking surprise. Um, I just like wearing women's clothes, so if there's any liberals in tonight, fucking take that, you bunch of liberals. <laughs> this night is less diverse than you thought. Um, oh, one left, Ian. <laughs> Two. We've got John coming up in a minute. Anyway, I was, um, uh, I, I, I live in Bristol now, of course I do. Look at the fucking state of me. Um, th this, is, uh, this is what you wear in Bristol if you are the most respected member of the community. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I'm in Bristol. Bristol's also Bristol's a lovely cosmopolitan, welcoming place if you're a bloke in a dress. I was walking down the street the other day, this bloke came right up to me and went, Hear me! What the fuck are you wearing a pencil dress for? With your build and physiology, I'd recommend more of a skater car. <laughs> <laughs> um, absolutely. You tra travel, travel down the road about 30 minutes though to Bath. Mm, yeah. Bath, Bath want to be cool with it. Sure they do, but they're a little bit too middle of the road. Yeah, they're a bit too Lib Dem for that. Yeah. <laughs> They see me and they're like, I'm jolly glad you're expressing yourself, but stay away from my children. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's fine, it is fine. Um, I went to Newport bus station dressed like this once. Newport bus station in South Wales. Has anyone here ever been to Newport bus station? Hey! Yeah, of course, cool. survivors. <laughs> anyone who's not, I'd recommend you go to Newport bus station. It's my favourite horror film. Uh, it's fucking terrifying. I was there, there was this old Welsh woman staring daggers at me and she was like clutching a handbag like this, going like... My 
fucking husband didn't die in the fucking war to fucking... <laughs> And then she heard my accent and when she went, oh, English. That's <laughs> really <laughs> cool. Um, no, that's fine. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not from, from Bristol originally. I'm from Enfield. Anyone from Enfield in? No, no, no. Oh, you're from Enfield? <laughs> no, he knows who well. you are. You, you got out? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oh, fuck off, cunt. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. off, your postcode, fucking cunt. I'm not living to be... I did fool you weren't even fucking born. <laughs> no, I... I've not lived in in London for like two years, but as soon as I get back within like the M25, I mean, you're like, you fucking, what you fucking out of fucking way? I'll fucking kill you, Graham. <laughs> uh, I, I, en Enfield, Enfield has its its interesting areas. I was in a particularly interesting area called Palmer's Green, where there's a pub called the Fox. That's a nod of someone <laughs> who's. A, if you ever go to the Fox in Palmer's Green, the army send you a medal. <laughs> uh, it's fucking terrible. I was there dressed like this. Uh, I, I went to the urinals where I like to go to <laughs> confuse people. <laughs> uh, I, I was there and, and this bloke came up to me and he went, Oi, mate! What the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> So I looked him dead in the eyes and went, listen mate, I'm wearing a dress, I'm a man in a dress, I'm a transvestite, I don't believe gender and clothing have all that much in common anymore and I've expressed that decision sartorially. No, I didn't say that. No. <laughs> so, what I actually said was a... What I actually said was a... It's interesting why you're asking why I'm in a dress. Because it's the only thing your mum gave me when I left her house this morning. <laughs> Motherfucker, now you want to dance? You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts! No, I didn't say that. No. <laughs> what I actually said was, <laughs> Yeah, Stan do, because he was a lot bigger than me. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, guys, you are lovely. This has been Aww. gig number 200. Um, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm at a point now where like, I do some impressions and I'm just trying to you know, make some money out of that. And the, the, the big impression you should be working on now is, is Boris Johnson, right? It's like, obviously, like, I, I told my therapist this. Of course I have a therapist, look at the fucking state. <laughs> I told my therapist this and she went like, um, I said, I should work an impression of Boris Johnson. And she went, <laughs> no, you're so sad already. <laughs> I don't want to work on an impression of Boris Johnson. I would much rather work on an impression of um, Nicolas Cage singing the works of Kate Bush. Yeah. 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 But that's not going to get me on Radio 4, you know? Oh, no. I need some of that sweet license fee money. <laughs> not enough to cover the license fee. I don't pay the license fee. <laughs> I don't have a TV. I'm scared Hugh Dennis will find me. So, um... So yeah, here's, here's, here's Boris Johnson, but as much as I can bear it. The thing is about Brexit is um, <laughs> we can sell some cake. <laughs> Shit. Um, I mean, Jerry Paul was a coward for there. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do you want to hurt me? <laughs> do, do, do you want to feel how it feels? <laughs> do you want to feel how it feels to hurt me? <laughs> Let's experience this moment. <laughs> and if I only could, I'd make a deal with God. And I'd get him to swap our faces. I'm gonna run up that hill. I'm gonna run up that hall. <laughs> No problem! <laughs> you guys have been... James O'Donoghue!